Hello, and welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. Then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What? I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is... Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. They're gonna be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. <laughs> Who cares about Alexei? <laughs> Estelle. I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. Oh, I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this, right? Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? Th this is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. 
And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Luxay? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then, we all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could, and you must understand. Oh yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. His Highness is. It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... what if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Uh... hmm... Hey, what about the knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. <sighs> Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah, I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is gonna rescue Estelle! I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this. Right? And nothing more? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri! What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. A job nobody wants to do.
Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just going to go take a look. The Council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. The Knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Esteliz is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use, but I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? So what if it is? The Knights may have to... You are aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword... Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me. Hey, that's... <laughs> I remember when Estelle ate that Nia fruit. Well, that was quite a face she made. Oh, come to think of it, it's been a long time since we've been on our own, huh, pal? I haven't been feeling like myself, even when I'm fighting. It's like I'm tired all of a sudden. You mind keeping an eye out for a while, Repeat? for later. Huh? For now, you can drop dead. Whoa! Such excitement. Hey there, Sunshine. Still living? Maybe. Well, it looks like you're awake now. How nice. Jeez, Repeat. What happened to keeping a lookout? He led us right to you, like a good boy. He's pretty clever, you know. Yeah, he told us if we came this way, we'd see the biggest fool in the world. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you really understand what has to happen after this? You're the one who doesn't understand! Carol... You can't... This is one thing you can't just do on your own, Yuri! 
What were you trying to prove? How far did you think you'd get without us? Yuri, even if you leave us behind thinking you don't need us, we're still gonna search the whole world from top to bottom until we find you. What it boils down to is... It's no fair keeping all the fun and glory to yourself. Would it hurt for you to believe in us a little bit more? We believe in you, Yuri! Yeah! I mean, we're your friends! You got me, guys. All right, then. We're all in this together. Until the end. I. Right! Um, duh! So let's go do this thing! The way out of the forest is right over there. I wonder if the world will benefit if Prince Yoder becomes Emperor. Who knows? What kind of weak answer is that? I thought you'd be at least a little optimistic. Well, he'll have Flynn around. That should help things a little. But only a little? I'm not so wide-eyed and innocent to think that major change is going to happen overnight. That sounds like you all right. Why are we stopping here? I heard the knights were gathering at date on hold. Flynn, right? But this place is completely deserted. Looks like we missed him. I wonder if he's headed to the capital. Then we might run into him on the way. Ugh, whatever. If we're done here, can we hurry up and get moving already? Yes, ma'am. You. It seems you were not able to stop her. What are you talking about? We're just getting warmed up. Now you just sit and watch like a good boy. Yuri, don't be rude. He lent us the sword. Yeah, you're right. Why? Hmm? Why what? Why do you smile at a time like this? I'm just a wild and carefree kind of guy. Foolishness. <laughs> Can't help it, I guess. I was born like this. Let's go. We can tell. Hmm? On the outside, he might not get angry or flustered or cry, but we can tell. And right now, he's so frustrated, it's all he can do not to scream. But Yuri keeps all that hidden away, so it looks like there's nothing wrong. And for me, now, when I see no hope at all, his attitude is why I can still stand up and fight. <sighs> Carol, what's the holdup? I'm coming! Why are you telling me this? Yeah, you're right. Someday I'll tell him myself. Someday. True friendship. However, the time will come when hope turns to despair.
Well, if it isn't the Imperial Knights, I guess they're getting ready to invade the capital. But it looks like they're at a standstill. I wonder if something's wrong. Oh, yeah. Yuri, wouldn't it be great if Flynn came with us? Did you forget that he's leading the Knights? I really doubt there's any way he could come with us. As soon as the scouts return, gather all of the lieutenants. Yuri! Everyone! Thank goodness you're all right. Her Highness must still be in Zophius, then. Yeah, for now at least. What are you doing out here? The Royal Guard has taken up their positions ahead. We're just waiting on the scouts I sent to observe the enemy forces. Captain, you don't have the time to be speaking with... No need to worry. We don't plan on staying long. You're going to the capital, too? Yes. There's something I'd like to discuss alone with you. Do you mind? Captain! It's fine. I'll be back soon. If there are any movements, be sure to notify me. Let's go. Prince Yoder informed me of what's been going on. About Lady Estelise's powers, too. If it really comes down to it, you might have to. Hey, the whole reason we're going to the capital is to prevent that from happening. I know that. I'm only talking about the worst-case scenario. I've already made my choice. Or have you forgotten? No. I remember. I'm prepared for the worst, but I'm going in the hope that it can be avoided. What are you going to do? I've been thinking about this for a long time now. What is a law? What is a crime? Where is the line between right and wrong? After much consideration, I came to the undeniable conclusion that such a clear distinction cannot be made. Even now, my belief that we all need laws hasn't changed. But, even so, I cannot bring myself to call you evil. That's why I hoped that we could make a world where we wouldn't have to keep repeating the same mistakes. Yet look at what's happening now. Then why not come with us? The capital's full of air, so your knights wouldn't be able to enter. But if you come with us, even if we can't get everyone through, we might be able to manage some of them. Dang Nomos, huh? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out, so you're going to have to decide for yourself what to do. I... Excuse me, sir. A large group of battle machines has emerged from the enemy lines. The numbers are staggering. What? Oh, Yuri! We're in big trouble! How could they have been hiding so many of their forces? It looks like we're going to have some difficulty breaking through that. Some? Oh, no, that's going to be brutal. By the time we get to the capital, we'll already be half dead. It's not like we have to face those things head on. Patty, do you see any way around them? Hmm. There's nothing but enemies anywhere I look. I have a feeling it might be impossible. But we're so close to the capital. They've started to move! They're coming this way! Hey, shouldn't we withdraw back to the hold? Captain. Yuri. Are you going to the capital to stop Alexei? And to save Her Highness? Yeah. Then... No matter how this ends, I believe that what you've decided is the best possible outcome. Flynn. You should go. Knights! An enemy battalion stands before us, and Alexei lies in wait behind them. I won't tell you this will be easy, and I understand if you want to flee. But I want you to remember what it is that we must do, what it is that we're protecting. We're knights. With our swords, we protect the people. I will not force any of you to fight. But if you share the same spirit as I do, 
Then let us fight this battle together! Flynn really is amazing! Imperial Knights, straight ahead! Let's head for the capital. <sighs> a double sigh? Knock it off. We have to make up our minds about Estelle. <gasps> From what people who fled from the capital said, it's probably already too late. Stop it! Don't say that! I think Yuri has decided where he stands already. How would you know that? You mean, the reason he tried to go alone was... We have to make up our minds, too. I know what we have to do, but still... This doesn't look good. Get ready for anything. Now this is my style! Lunarado! Lunabang! Destruction Fit Dragon! All my heart baby, all my love. All my heart baby, all my love. Ow! Hey, what's up, old man? I want to hear what you're planning, you know, about Estelle. <sighs> We're all floating in the same boat, right? Care to share? I'm not sure I won't lose my nerve if I start talking about it now. You're just gonna have to bear with me till the time comes. You're prepared to do what's necessary, but you haven't given up hope. That about sums it up. I guess that's your style. But don't try to take it all on by yourself, all right? <laughs> it's weird hearing kind words from you, Raven. <laughs> True enough. <laughs> <laughs> 